Well, good afternoon, guys. Um, back in Cumbria, as we said. Uh, calm before the storm. So we're heading on to the uh, heading on to the Buckle Field, where we found our beautiful uh, 1720s. Uh, you say silver, yeah, silver plated uh, copper alloy buckle with a uh, inserted iron pin. So we got a really good uh, description coming back from Flo. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I did state early in the week that uh, made a couple of little mistakes on the uh, identification process, but that's all part of the learning. So, uh, so yeah, we are back onto the buckle field. So here in Cumbria. Just gonna see if I can uh, spin you around. Very, very wet. Very wet. <laughs> I am expecting more wet. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how the field uh, actually responds today. I showed you this little bet last week. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, gorgeous. So right, we'll leave you there and. Uh, Hopefully, come back with some uh, some nice finds. See you in a bit. Well, that's an interesting little uh, little object, isn't it? It's almost like a uh, little plum weight. Weird, isn't it? Interesting little top. Almost like a I don't know little plum weight, something like that. Found it deep down there. Interesting. A little bit of research ahead, I think. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Any ideas? Give me a shout. Well guys, I did think for a moment that I'd got a heraldic shield. But in actual fact, it's a Leyland uh, Tiger Shield. Beautiful all the same, isn't it? Just from down there. Uh, and it says, I think it says Frey... A Frey of Birmingham. I presume it's probably off the toy. Yeah, it looks like it. We'll look them up when we get back. Got some nice colours though. Probably been down there a while. So yeah, not too bad. The drone hater. Not one of his toys, I don't think. Okay, moving on. Well guys, it's uh it's not gold, but uh to somebody it was a lost treasure. So there's a beautiful little horseshoe that I would imagine that's uh quite old. Um yeah, it came up obviously as iron. Dug it anyway. I think I've caught it there with a spade. Be interesting to see how many uh, how many holes are in it. Uh, if there's seven, then I think that dates it pre uh, 1600s. And there's no uh, there's no toe piece on it, so uh, I'm not sure that definitely makes it pre 1800s. I'm not 100% up on horseshoes. I read a little bit, uh, but yeah, found it on top of this little. Uh, on the top of this little how beautiful definitely taking that back uh, i love horseshoes so yeah any good luck um interesting catch you in a bit <laughs> 